Hey folks, Steve Haggerty here. Wanted to talk to you today about something that I refer to as the gray zone. The gray zone is something that exists in our partial wedge play. If we look at a golf swing for a partial wedge, and we look at the smallest pitching action, we'll call it, you can see that the club head doesn't get much above my knees here. you also notice that my wrist doesn't move at all. Because of that, when we change direction, we have the support of the big muscles in the body bringing the golf club forward. If we look at another swing where the golf club goes through a full hinge of the wrist, we now have the club in a position where we can leverage down with our hands and arms and allow our body to move through. That would give us our biggest pitch shot. In between those two, here's our smallest, here's our biggest. You can see that the club head covers a huge range. There's our gray zone. I believe typically people find 40, 50 yard shots in there for that gray zone. Tough area to cover because the wrist has only gone through a partial hinge. My suggestion to players is, well, obviously practice those shots a lot, but in playing, if you know that in that gray zone you're not so good at those numbers, avoid those numbers on the golf course. Don't hit it to that yardage. Otherwise, practice up. Thanks.